All right, we're back. We're going to continue plowing through this Steam library, sorting through them, see what's good, what's not good. And where are we at? Aerial Garden, Guardian. That is not good. I'm actually curious to see if it still works. Let's see if this game actually works. We'll start installing it. There's also Etheria Online. Which is a retro pixel art MMORPG. It's actually a good little game, but it, it got taken offline January 7, 2020, around that time. Yeah, I'm curious about Aerial Garden Guardian. So yeah, we have Etheria Online. I need to switch over to Display Capture. It's a shame this game got shut off. But hey, well, well, it's, it's mixed. 67% of the reviews. Let's watch the... Watch the trailer, at least. It's a shame that this game failed. It really is. It's by Zachary Hodges. Here, we'll watch the gameplay trailer. a game I can't recommend now because it's not online anymore. But when it was, it's quite a good game. Nice little single developer 2B the action MMORPG. It's good, but it's also dead. We'll keep it in good. Aerial Garden still downloading. Next we have Etherspace. Oh, background downloads. What's why don't I get Steam Overlay? I think I turned it off because where is it? Is it? There we go. I think this will allow us to do screenshots and whatnot. We don't want that. So let's play Aether Space. We'll get the store page first, and then we'll get on the game. It's a game about turn based battles between outlaw gangs in space with starships. Bye. Munchkin's Lair. Sitting at 62% positive. There's an expansion pack for 99 cents. We got Gnome and we got our friend or Games CZ. I have some people that liked it. Oh, 90% of the game at items are locked. You have to buy the expansion pack. So let's let's see. We're going to look at the free-to-play game. Because it offers a free game. 
Let's see how the free experience holds up. Is it worth it? Okay, it is playing new game. Gang name. We'll do a tutorial. Who knows, maybe we'll have a hidden gem here. Guess we'll find out. Okay. Black market, informant. Okay. Load out. Sign the pilot. Top left. There we go. With this pilot assign. Equip. Nothing prevents you from launching unarmed starfighters. Okay, got this. So you lose focus each turn. Turn based. going. Defeat. So what's it want me to do? What's it want me to do? Meet the informant. Okay then, so What's it want me to do exactly? Watch me go to this cloud.
last time I made it to the cloud and I found, I thought I found him and then it said, nope. I think it started me back at the beginning. So, so where is he? Oh, here. Two starfighters. This is, is this the enemy? What am I doing? this starfighter. Yeah, this doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Defeat. 66 to... What is this based off of? This tutorial doesn't teach you anything. Yeah, I can tell that a lot of time went into developing this game, but it doesn't teach you how to actually play it in the tutorial, so you're just kind of lost. Get rid of the tutorial. It doesn't, the tutorial doesn't teach you anything, really. It, it's like it's trying to, but... So I find these starfighters and I was trying to attack that guy. I go in here and I find him. Get some company. Fight this guy. Let's go, let's go back this way, fight this guy. I didn't, this, I 
I can tell a lot of time went into this game, developing it. It just doesn't teach you anything. And it's really, the controls are really not very good. I don't I don't know what to do with this. Yeah, well, I'm going to I hate doing this. But I I can't. It's going into not recommended. I can't. For new players. Yeah, it's just not in a state where it's fun to play. Aerial Garden. I already know that game's not going to be good, but we'll check it out anyway. Affected Zone Tactics. What do we got here? Tactical online game with cooperative based PvP combats. Travel through the Tesla portal to a dangerous parallel world. We just squad of reckless mercenaries and outright outrage mighty corporate co corporations and cliques. 56% positive by Light Vision Interactive. Here you have some, a lot of Debatably pay to win things you can purchase. Okay, well, I thumbed it down before, but we'll take a look at it again. Get this game up and running. Supposedly it's running somewhere. Oh yeah, it is. So let's go ahead and switch over. Okay, let's switch over to window capture. Let's see how this game holds up. Do a quick look at it. Okay, we have EU and Russian. Connection error doesn't work. Okay, let's try again. I played this before and I actually sort of liked it. It just wasn't, it just had a lot of issues. It needed a lot more time in development. So the EU server doesn't work. I think we might have a dead game here. Let's try Russian. Oh, I think it might actually work. 
The Russian server might actually work. Go to battle. Start battle. Looks like we have bots. Might be bots, might not be. We'll see. Yeah, I'm ready for battle. Stand in town. You really need a neutral option on Steam for reviews, just an informative one. Here we go. My turn. Here we go. Why is it going so slow? It's not very well optimized. And the menus don't even work properly. To restart the game to apply any changes. Yeah, it's this turn based style of game. They're trying to get these guys. not well optimized. Can I get this guy? Okay, is it going to let me do anything? where I wanted to be. I don't have a choice. Yeah, it's not bad for what it is. It's just horrifically optimized. And a lot of the content's locked behind the paywall. Yeah, I'm going to have to finish this. Let's see, eight. Gotta get him. Eight 
eight. I want to throw a grenade. Come on. I throw a grenade. No. That is not what I wanted to do at all. Do I not have grenades? There is an interesting game here. Do I do I not have grenades? It shows a button for grenades. In a horrible spot. My turn one. I shoot him. Come on, shoot him. Not move there, shoot him. Shoot. It shows one is a button. I press one, it doesn't do what I ask it to do. It just moves the character there. So of course I'm gonna get killed. Yep, dead. Yeah, there's an interesting game here. It's, it just doesn't work properly. But yeah, we're not. That's going in the. Not good. Like I said, there is an interesting game there. It just doesn't work very well. We have a Fortic Golf online. I think we played this on another video. We'll give it another chance. Afford a golf. On Steam, it's sitting at 32% positive. Free to play. Up to 127 players in the same map. You can create your own courses. Game doesn't work. Used to be a buy to play title and now it's free. So let's let's give it a chance. Who knows, maybe it'll be a good game. There we go. Let's get it capture up. Four to golf. Looks like it's a Unity game. Go ahead and get the capture for Fort Golf up. There we go. Are there dedicated servers? Nope. Multiplayer. Go map course one create start game. We are the putter. Will not let me play. We'll try training soon at least play the map. Here we go. Has this weird interface to it. There we go, we got it in the hole. 
next map. Like they have this, okay, I didn't even mean to hit it there. They have a certain swing system that's worked for mini golf games and, and regular golf games for a long time. I don't know why they decided that this game needed to do something different. And of course I go off the course. And I just clip through something. Yep. It's a very poorly designed mini golf game, but you can do multiplayer. It's just not good. Not very good at all. You can create courses and host teams with lots of players is a definite plus. Especially for for a free to play title. However, the for the There we go. This is the third game in a row that has a great concept. It's just the execution is poor. What do we got next? Come on, Aerial Garden, finish, finish downloading. We have Afterburn, the Mockerlips. What is this title all about? Brawl for a Fighter Future, it's by Left Turn Workshop. Do they have other games? Doesn't look like it. We have single player PvP. Fighting game. IDP virus found from this game. And then a lot of recommends. So let's let's see. Let's see how well it holds up. Go ahead and capture the window. have to do game capture. There we go. Okay, it looks like it's capturing the game. Let's get on here. Let's see if it's any good settings. Start. After four years of American carnage, the clocks are winding toward the end time. Resistance seems futile. The future foreclosed. The only question is who will stand and fight. First of it. Look at they put a lot of time.
let's get in the game. After four years. Are other people having issues with this game? Let's take a look. Why isn't it working? Community Hub. Oh, it's the, this game is designed to donate money to Bernie Sanders' campaign. So why isn't it working? Does it just break if you pick the wrong people, or what's the deal here? After four years. Okay. Question is, can you play against a computer in this game?
Okay, let's figure let's try to figure out why this game isn't working. Why does it keep queuing the download? Okay, let's try this again. After four years. It seems like it should work. Yeah, it's just not working.
Okay, so for now, it's going into not recommended. I just can't get it to work. I'll try it on some different computers. But yeah, it's another not recommended. After H, we have next. What do we have? Allow background downloads. So you gotta see the brilliance of Aerial Garden, Guardian. But after H, what do we have here? Fifty-six of 130, 103 reviews are positive. Join the Martian battlefields and fight as the Alliance of Rebels in this competitive, fast-paced FPS. Oh, it requires a virtual reality headset. So I don't think we're going to be able to play this one. We'll see, we'll see if it works. Maybe we can trick it into working without VR. Maybe we'll get lucky. Yeah, it's not going to work because we don't have VR headset. Okay. VR only. So we can't play that game. What's next? Age of Cavemen. Go ahead and play it. Let's change some of the properties. Nope. Allow background downloads. Only update when I launch it. Let's move over to Age of Cavemen. There we go, loading. Got some rewards. Looks like I got attacked. Which one of these games? How do I build an army? You can buy a lot of these meteorites. Okay, how do I get? stuff. Okay, how do I build an army?
There's a chat. How do I build an army? Very much feels like a mobile game. some warriors. We'll upgrade these things. Clean stone. Not a very good UI, that's for sure. Great that. Oh, I need more meteorites. Gotta buy them. It's one of these games where you wait. It does stuff, you wait. of defense. My twenty coupons. So it's a build and wait style of game. Okay, so where where do I get the meat? That is a question. I 
upgrade storage capacity. There's a head rocks. Let's find an opponent to attack. Where are my units? Okay. tickets. Yeah, it feels too much like a mobile game. Yeah, I don't have an army. Where's my army? Prices go up as you buy stuff.
more builders. So I need a builder thing. needs more resources. Monthly card. So yeah, I want you to use real money to buy about anything. And it's very much a mobile strategy game that you've seen a hundred times before. For what it is, if you enjoy the type of game, it's not terrible. I definitely don't. Eventually you're gonna hit a paywall in this game. Number four hundred and fifty four thousand three hundred and ninety seconds. Join one graves. join
Eventually you run out of the gems they give you. It becomes very much a buy to play game. Not that it's impossible to play without paying money. But it definitely becomes more difficult. You do a lot of waiting. Yeah, that's what you have here. It's a basic mobile strategy game, a lot of waiting. You can pay to not wait. I just stopped. I didn't want to stop. Oh, I see. me to buy gems to upgrade that. Here we got some more rocks. So yeah, not a whole lot here. A lot of pop-ups to buy stuff. I would say give this game a pass. So yeah, it's another it's another no. Add to not good. Okay, it's your typical mobile strategy game where you're encouraged to pay money or wait ridiculous amounts of time to accomplish anything. The underlying game is fun, but pay to win and pay for convenience. Is it a definite not recommend? Okay, what's next in our library? Age of Chivalry? I think we actually got a legitimate title. Hold on, this is gonna be a game that's going to require, let's get this. Well, background, downloads. It keeps rolling back. I don't think it's possible to download this game anymore. We'll see. Age of Chivalry.
Okay, we are going to have to probably do some config file editing for this one. The source engine title. Okay. Okay, we need to Let's try this again. Okay. Looks like it's a source engine Half Life 2 mod. Looks like there's no options for windowed mode. I'd have to do some config file editing. But can I capture the game at least? Okay, I think we got the game captured. Let's get on here. The problem with a lot of these first-person perspective and first-person shooter type games and mods is there's not really much of a community anymore, despite the games going on Steam, and they require a community to play. Pretty sure this is one of those titles, or if I don't have other players, there's not going to be much I can do. I still show off the map and show off some of the gameplay mechanics at least. Them. We've got Longbowman, Crossbowman, Javelin, and Arm Sergeant, Garthman, Crusader, Knight, Heavy Knight. Try the Longbowman.
There we go. Get ready. Fight. Oh, hey, we can hit stuff. An arrow stuck in something like this. Doesn't look like it. Yeah, it's really, really uh, well made. Source engine project. Oh, we got a got an invisible wall here. Not a fan of that. But there's no players, so there's not much I can do. We defend the encampment. We have no other players to play against. <laughs> you have stamina. Yeah, no other players is the problem here. Great game. Great game. But no players. We'll put in good. I've actually played this quite a bit before. Character builds. There we go. Excellent game. Just bring your own players. But it's so I haven't played it long enough. Are you kidding me? There we go. I guess I got to run it longer. Stop it.
some of these games just don't really run properly because they're designed for much older systems. So somewhere in here I probably have something for that game still running. Let's see. It thinks it's still running at least. I don't see anything for it. Why does it think it's still running? Okay, I don't know why it thinks it's still running. I'm gonna pause this video. When we come back, I think we'll do Aerial Garden and see if it's improved at all. I'll be right back. All right, we are back and we are going to experience Aerial Guardian. Okay. I am curious whether this game even works at all anymore. Every time I've played it, it's gotten more and more and more broken. Here we go. Aerial Guardian. It loaded. Connecting to servers. Let's see, quick play. Nice growth. Warping the battle sector. Okay, it's not going to enter anything. I'm going to have to host. So let's try again. Made with Unity. Okay, connecting to Steam. This game had potential. I'm going to host a room. Next ping. Auto team. I'm not waiting on this any longer. It's the last time I played it, it was broken. Let's just fix it out. Bye. Okay. So we went through quite a few games on the list today. Gave some first impressions. Not really meaningful ones, but just brief overview of the games. Whether or not they seem to be good or not, so I can start sorting them and see what to play. So we'll go ahead and go ahead and make a list, put them in order. Okay, uh, I 
It's not a very good list, that's for sure. Not a good list today. A lot of projects, I'll, I'll revisit some of these projects. Here's some that have a lot of potential. I'll put a star next to the ones I believe are top tier quality games. Then below the line are the ones that are not recommended. Go ahead and pull this up. There we go. We got a top tier game in Age of Chivalry. The problem is the lack of community. You can't really play the game if nobody else is playing when it's a multiplayer game. So you have to bring your own friends for that. Aether Space, the tutorial is not very good. It needs a lot of work, but it's a great idea. Same as the zone, affected zone tactics. Age of Caveman has horrible monetization. Fortic Golf Online, the, they decided to go with a different control mechanism. You can clip through solid objects with the ball. It's just not any good. Afterburn to Malcolypse didn't work. Aerial Garden in didn't work. So we got one out of seven. But the one is really good. So hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe and have a great day.